be seen as politicizing them, but the Queen famously threw her support behind 1957 polio vaccine and revealing she, Prince Charles and Prince Anne had taken vaccine. And but many people are saying in order for people to have a vaccine, it might be however helpful if we were known to the Queen herself had taken one to let everybody know it's safe. For example. Ms. Robinson added, Normally we don't get into hear about private medical things to do with the royal family, but you ever never know. Because the royals will be abide by the government's priority list for the scene administration, Prince William and Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge, are unlikely to take the jab until next year. Royal sources told the mail that the Cambridge Sources close to Mona and Philip said that the couple will wait for the coronavirus vaccines, which is expected to start being administrated for um, next week. Both the royals are likely to accept the inoculations on the advice of palace doctors, but the Queen and Philip are also tipped to lead the way for UK's vaccine nation's drive, which public health experts believe could combat disinformation around the vaccine. And sources also told the mail that British royals are keen to support everyone who has been involved and William has kept a close eye on Oxford University and AstraZeneca vaccines development visiting the laboratory in June. The Duke has also lavished spray. One won't skip the queue, Queen 94 and Philip 99 to wait weeks for coronavirus vaccine. The Queen and Prince Philip will wait in line for coronavirus vaccine ahead in the jabs. Buckingham Palace and Whitehall has are said to be discussion whether the royals could take part in national vaccination drive. It follows reports of NHS ones sensible celebrities and the royal family to promote the jab to combat skepticism over the vaccination. Chris Ship and Lizzie Robinson, ITV's Royal Rota host, discuss whether the monarch could help promote the jab. This is ship said, you, we don't know, but they're in the age group where they would be in the second tier of the people who get the vaccine of its imminent rollout to people in UK, it has been reported. Both the 94-year-old monarch and Philip 99 will not get preventure treatment, but will instead wait in line during the first wave of injections reserved for the over 80s and care home residents according to senior sources speaking to Daily Mail. After the UK's drug regulation body approved the Blizzard and BioTentech vaccine last week, the NHS has prepared to administer the first jabs to the care home population in Korea's first. Senior members of the Rye family will also be offered coronavirus vaccines at the same time as the rest of the country to avoid fake viral tourism. And the contours of the monarch are wavy, however, that using the royal family in any vaccine campaign is on to this research team after the last month review, the Oswald's vaccine was 90% effective in developing immunity in trials.